You should come in. Should I? Hello again, everyone. My name is Colonel 006. Back with more of this very, very unique experience. That is AI the Somnium Files. I hope this is where we last left off. Sometimes when you save a game, it's not quite where you think it's going to be. So, here we go. No, that's all right. I'm going to head home. Ooh, going home already? I think this is the right move. I said my goodbyes, then turned to leave. But out of the corner of my eye... Hmm... She looks familiar. Oh, who is this, Iris? I felt my body freeze. Because that woman... She's... Hmm? She's the one you saw murdered in the dream. No, it can't be. It can't be. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. Sure. Sure, tea, tea sounds good. It's like I'm looking at a ghost. Yeah, you're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? Y you could say that. No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's nothing. Okay. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on a tray. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. So far, a sofa. <laughs> oh, God, I've got to talk. <laughs> Was not expecting that also this is the scene from my dream oh god in heaven um here we go there are some elementary workbooks on the table but looking closely one in the middle is different osagami sumo wrestler directory osagami sumo nope i can't can I enjoy my tea? Steam is rising from the tea. Cool. I guess I don't get to enjoy the tea. Hi! I saw her. I saw her in my dream last night. That's impossible. <laughs> None of these questions seem very appropriate. Um, how about I talk to you? You look chipper. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? Mm. Oh, the there vase are, over yeah? there? What about them? <laughs> the flowers. It's an iris. Uh -huh. Iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. <laughs> they bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. This is too happy. I don't like this. I really don't like this. A telephone in the corner. Can I not look at the message? Okay. There's a drawing on the wall. I wonder if I ever drew this when she was younger. It's a door in the back of the room. Hmm. 
lot of dishes. I'm Iva, let me know if you're cold. I'll pop you in there and warm you up. I would suggest putting your heart in there first. Ouch. Oh, it's just a little bit of mist. <laughs> Can I put the basket on my head again? That was fun. There are no books on it, but it's definitely a bookshelf. I saw it in a catalog before, so I know. <laughs> the lights are off. Oh, we got me. A clock. Jeez, you are the most nondescript describer. There's a calendar and a strange object on the shelf. It reminds me of a kind of angel. What is that object? Uh, I believe it's origami, isn't it? You are beyond perverted. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? I think you gave up privacy in your thoughts a long time ago. <laughs> All right. You you need I need answers here. About the flowers. Iris was hinting about the flowers blooming behind her. Yes, I looked at them. What do you want? I guess you were saying? Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Are you left-handed? The soundtrack in this game is fantastic. Oh, Mom used to be right-handed. Used to be? But now... <clears throat> Why? <gasps> oh. It locked up on me. I'm sorry. Ah, I see. <laughs> About your dead right hand. <laughs> How long have you been living here? Since I was born. And mom was living here before that. Yes, that's I grew how up that in works. this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Clearly not. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was well, I don't know. Huh? You don't know? You seem to be doing well now. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! How am I supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to talk to you. Where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. Hence the workbooks. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. Teachers are pretty awesome people. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're a teacher. And I'm not joking this time. Please do. Teachers are amazing people. They get paid nothing. At least here in the States, they get paid freaking nothing. And they're some of the most important people employed. Doesn't make any sense. May I ask how old you are? I'm 37. I turned 37 in almost exactly a month. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. So you had her when you were... 19? Yeah, that makes sense. You were very young when you had her. That is young these days. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? Don't know if you should assume that there, Date, but okay. He's dead. Probably. Or gone. I don't have one. Divorce? 
Mr. Date, please. Yeah, seriously, dude, stop. <laughs> it's all right, Iris. That's not cool. <laughs> I've never been married. A single mother. Yeah, it happens. Yes. Now that I've completely embarrassed myself, about Renju Okiyo... Oh, I think I see where this is going. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Friends. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Eitoku? Eitoku. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. 20 years. You know it? Just saying. I know everything on the internet. <laughs> you sure do, Iba. Do you know Renju's ex-wife? Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? <clears throat> no reason. <clears throat> you kill her. <clears throat> no reason. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. I agree. I love his outfit. That's really cool. My favorite color is purple, so that's probably why. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and Itomi stood politely. Mr. Date, we'll see each other again, right? I hope so, Iris. You sure you want that? I'm a cop, after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. That is true. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate, after all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. I don't think I quite get the relationship between Mizuki and Date yet. Yeah, she's... Oh. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Well, I should head home. Why is her right arm... All right. Take care, Date. ...compromised? That's a darn good question. Oh, getting close to sleepy time. Gonna go into dream world again. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Sure. <laughs> Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Date? Not at all. Why would I hide them there? Wouldn't you like to know, Iba? All right, Iba. What do you want? Oh, Jesus. It's right in the middle of the wheel. <laughs> That's cool. Well, Iba is charging right now. Mm. I get it. Let's hear the timeline of events. Iba. Can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Sorry. Mm. Shit. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. I'm not gonna try to keep my eye closed the whole time, I can. Uh, 5 p.m. Shoko's TOD. We don't know. Mizuki receives now message. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki... That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. I'm sure it will. About the bloodstains. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. I noticed that. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. No, I don't think it was. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. Exactly. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. 
She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. But she could have had help. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I don't know if that's true. But for now, we'll go with that. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Why was Mizuki inside the column? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. Yeah, I, I gathered that. I was merely joking, as you call it. Hmm. About Shoko's corpse. There's a reason she was inside that column, by the way. I'm guessing she was hiding from the actual killer. The estimated anyway. time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. Then why... why take the eye out? What was the point of that? The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. And why is she holding it? There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Unfortunately, that means she's the primary suspect. At least right now. About Shoko's corpse, again. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Definitely not. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Hmm. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Mm. One more time. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. Eyeball. Eyeba. Eye missing. Ice pick. <sighs> There's a lot going on here. Especially the fact that Date's left eye is similar in that Aiba jumps out of it, and this girl's left eye is empty. That means something. That means, I'm guessing that means that whoever killed her is trying to send me a message. That's my guess right now. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? That's what I want to know. Could she have taken the eye? I don't think so. <laughs> Anything on your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? What's that? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Hmm. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. Cool. Me neither. Police headquarters, Saturday, 4.26 p.m. Welcome back. Hey, boss. I brought her here after her examination was over. Mizuki. Mizuki. Has she said anything? Jeez. No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and... All of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. <laughs> you know what you need to do now, right? Do I? Sync with her. What do you mean by that? Mm. 
What? What? Oh yes, hi pewter. Oh man. How's music you doing? Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Good. You sure this is okay? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. That's not what I'm talking about. You have nothing to worry about. I don't like the idea of going into the mind of a 12-year-old. Sorry. About Iba. Hey, Pewter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike? If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Huh. <laughs> so you were listening, huh? She hears everything, dude. Every single thing you think, every single thing you say. Boss! Any progress on the investigation? You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. That's my theory. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? I guess if we have to, but I don't like the idea of... Are you sure you want to do this? If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. I don't think I'm gonna help her. I think I'm gonna hurt her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Aphonia? Oh, that she can't speak? Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Yeah, no kidding! She saw somebody get killed! Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. <sighs> You're the only one who can. Apparently. Did you get Renju's permission? Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. Yeah, convenient. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. Mm. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. Alright. Let's do this.